Hello, I'm Pete Tilly with Focusrite Pro. In this video, I'm going to talk specifically about the RedNet X2P. A great tool in any Dante network, the X2P is the perfect resource to separate your recording booth from your studio. It can also be used as a standalone interface with Dante Virtual Sound Card for those that want RedNet quality recordings in a smaller budget home studio. The dual network ports on the back can be used for either daisy chaining other Dante devices to your network or for adding your X2P to a network already set up with Dante redundancy. The X2P has two microphone inputs for dual mono or stereo recording. It also has a stereo set of outputs for desktop monitors controlled by this line-out knob. On the left of the front panel here we have the headphone volume right above the forward-facing headphone port. Above this is the input mix dial. Similar to your direct monitor for those familiar with our Scarlet line, this knob blends your analog signal with your Dante audio so that you, or your talent, can get the most comfortable custom level to record to. 48V is phantom power, turn this on when using condenser microphones. And this button below is for phasing. This is useful for when recording in stereo if your waveforms are inverted. Usually you can hear this, you'll also be able to see it in your DAW software. The high pass filter switches on an analog capacitor that rolls off the low end at around 65Hz, and air mode, custom to Focusrite, is a capacitor based emulator of our original ISA preamp. This adds a level of clarity over your high end and is really useful for vocalists, acoustic instruments, and snare drums. The dials here are for the two inputs in the back, and the link button for those unfamiliar will actually lock these two gain knobs into place with each other so that when I raise the gain on input 1, input 2 will follow. This is useful for keeping levels matched on the fly when stereo recording. For those that use the front panel lockout feature on the X2P, you can also set this on the hardware by holding this link button for 2 seconds. This input mix button here will send your custom blend to the monitors as well as the headphones. When it's off, it will only send to the headphone. Lastly, we all know what mute does, but a quick trick on this button, if you have multiple X2Ps on your network and need to quickly locate your device in RedNet Control, Hold down the mute button for 2 seconds and your X2P will flash in the software. The LCD screen displays the name of your RedNet X2P, digital gain display, and metering, as well as a status bar along the bottom to show network connection, power, and routing. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching.